Well, shit. Uh, four or five more? Sure. Cool. Oh, yeah, so long. Oh, yeah, I'll totally play that one. Thank, yeah, thanks for. Yeah. I'm ADD enough, I know hundreds if not thousands of songs, but it never fails sometimes I'm up here and I can't think of what the hell to play. So I, I, I dig that, thank you. This is a breakup song and it fits the other one that I just played. This is called Good For You, Good Riddance and Goodbye. <clears throat> Once again you've called to tell me I'm a loser And how much better you are Without me in your life Well, if you've gotten over me Why do you feel the need To rub it in my face all the time? For you and I So I won't answer when you call But I'll be thinking by and by Good for you Good riddance And goodbye One day up Then two days down Specific ex girlfriend that got really crazy and cool. <laughs> Her name's not in it, but if she ever hears it, I think she might figure it out. <laughs> and that's cool. There's a lesson there. It's like a subtle message. Yeah, don't fuck with people that write songs for a living. Is a good idea. <laughs> that can bite you in the ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't shit where you there. The list goes on, the list goes on. <laughs> Liar's Truth? Sure, you bet, man. Totally awesome. This is called The Liar's Truth.
you ever, uh, <laughs> have you ever tried playing Pack a Smile? You know, I have. I have. I don't know that one. I can't remember the words to it, man. I'd have to sit down and like listen to it. It's been so long. Uh, but I'm actually, I, what I want to do is do an acoustic album of Misery Seed songs at some point. The song, I think, would really translate well. I think so. Black Until the Dawn was actually a Misery Seed song. I wrote that as a Misery Seed song, but we never recorded it. We're, I'll tell you what, I'll work on it when I get a chance to, because I think that one would be cool too. But I would totally fuck it up if I did it right now. <laughs> Teardrops, unless you think of another one. Uh, it's not right to put the pressure on someone watching, right? <laughs> you're supposed to know what you're doing, man. What do you, what do you want to hear? There's so many good songs, though. That's the perfect answer. I like them all. That's, that's I like them all. Yeah, yeah. They're all great. Yeah. Ooh. I like them all. Office space? Yeah, that's a badass movie. <laughs> FTP Low Letter. Or what the fuck is that movie? That's one of my favorite movies. Oh, right? face. Yeah. That's a good one. I like the one he's on. Uh, Mr. Na, na, uh, not going to be working in here not anymore. Not going to here anymore. That's good. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, if you can think of one between the Misfit song and Teardrops, I'll squeeze it in there. I mean, I know it's a cover. Oh yeah, totally. I haven't done a Hank Williams song. I'll do that. <clears throat> okay, three more songs. A Hank Williams song, a Misfit song, one of my own. Yeah. 
satisfied, but she just wouldn't stay. Now that she is a leaving, this is all I can say. I got a feeling called the blues, oh Lord, since my baby said goodbye. Lord, I don't know what I'll do. I've lost my heart, it seems. my songs, but fucking up a Hank Williams song, that's like blasphemy, man. And I was just talking about fucking up a song you played hundreds of times, I haven't played that one on this tour, so that's what happens if I go a few weeks without playing a song you play hundreds of times, all of a sudden it's like, uh-oh, how's that go again? I like the reaction of it, though, like, oh, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> it's hard to yodel when you start laughing, too. Uh, I can tell you you're trying to laugh yeah. the rest of the song. Then I got the last 30 seconds so I was back. So yeah. sorry, Hank. I'm bringing it in, bring it in, man. Okay, I got two more songs for you guys. This is a misfit song. Okay, this is my last song for reals. It's my goodbye, we'll meet again song, and it's time to smoke cigarettes out front. And there's no goddamn Gallows or J. Corvus, uh, unfortunately. So this really is. Yeah, just no bit. Well, we'll be back 50 minutes to hang out and shoot the shit in here. Thanks for coming out, you guys. Seriously, it's badass. And thank you, Ken, for having me. It's, it's been a fun Monday night, man. Okay. One of the very first Farmer Dead Records. Yeah, actually, you're the first. Am I the first? That's awesome, yeah. man. I'm honored. I sent the email saying Farmer Dead Records. I want you to your home to be. It yeah, be definitely. Definitely, that's awesome, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, hey, Rachel Brooks doing the tour. Rachel Brooks went on tour with the Boss. Yeah, they all March 24th. Really? 
Yeah. Um, you know what? I got an email the other day about like March twenty first. Somebody else, but I, I will send them. I will send an email to uh, who I talked to out of Santa. It's not Santa Cruz. Um, up north. Uh, somebody, I, I can't think of your name right now. Uh, I'll send her an email and bring it up. Because they'll be received on the 23rd. Okay. And there's March 24th open. I, I, what day is that? That's a Saturday. That was a tough. Those dates are hard. All right. I, I booked out like six months. Uh, what? what? You got more closure? No, I tried to tour national. I like that. No, no, I'm, I'm all about the national act. LA is a plethora of musicians. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, right. I don't want the Jerkwater neighborhood to keep Yes. I want people to do it. Seattle, Portland, yeah. San Francisco, LA, Long Beach, San Diego. I used to be able to play the whole thing, but I can't remember it. I need to figure it out so I can bust it out longer than that. It's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. What's that? I love Creeks. I've never played any of their songs, though. It's only like so wise. Any of their songs. No, they're great. They're great. I grew up on Creeks, Clearwater. My mom and dad love them. They're totally awesome. I love that. Have you ever seen the rain? That's my favorite yeah, song. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that that was, one, that's uh, a bitchin' song. Someday it has to come. Yeah, they're, they're tons of great songs. That was cool, too. Do you know he modeled his vocals uh, after Little Richard? Really? Yeah. yeah my dad listen You can hear it, too. If you, if you have that in mind and listen to Creedence and then listen to Little Richard, you can totally hear it. When he's really belting out, oh, I like it. Totally. Yeah. He's going for it. Yeah. Sat in his room and sang a little Richard records for like over and over and over again to get that that snarled out. I haven't done any acoustic, man. Um, I love Chuck Berry. He's the king of rock and roll. Yeah, it's tough. It's kind of yeah, I'd have to I'd have to sit down. I know I could do it, but I want to sit down. I wouldn't want to just pull it out of my ass. Yeah. It might sound like pull it out of my ass. You know, you know. Just, you kind of fuck it up. You just kind of. Shit. Okay, this is it for reals. This is called Don't Let Teardrops Split Your Eyes. Thanks, you guys.
don't let teardrops fill your eyes, your eyes to mine. Thanks, you guys. It's been totally awesome. Thank you.